apples versus oranges. I got a perfect example of this and why you gotta be very careful in terms of who you listen to out there. In today's Clay Trader Mail video, we're gonna look at a YouTube discussion that I had, uh, which still makes me laugh when I read it. Um, and I don't have any ill will towards this person at all. Uh, it was just a matter of apples and oranges. This person is talking in a way uh, where he's talking about apples and I'm talking in a way my whole channel's about oranges. Oranges being, we are talking about trading the markets. Trading, not long-term investing, you know, not anything like that. We are looking for specific instruments, whether it's stocks, options, forex, you know, futures, and then trading that. So that's the oranges, but this person is talking about things from an Apple's perspective. And if I didn't know any better, or for new people, they may look at that and, and get persuaded down a path where it's not where they wanna go, where it could actually lead them to losses. And a point here being, you gotta just be very careful who you listen to. And that includes me. Quick example, if you are on YouTube right now or just looking for videos and you want something about IRA investing for the long term, I, yes, I am talking about the market, so we have that in common, but I would be the last guy that you'd wanna listen to and focus on in regards to investing in your IRA for the long term because I'm a trader. I'm talking about shorter term stuff, not long term for the next 40 years for retirement. So you gotta be very careful who you listen to, and this little discussion does a great job of explaining why that is. For a little context here, this discussion revolves around a video I did talking about some math out there that, you know, is. I don't want to say it's obvious, but it's something that we as traders, traders need to be aware of. And this person is commenting on it, but they are commenting on it all from more so an Apple's perspective. So William says, I don't believe this is true. Math does in fact dictate that to offset a decrease of some percent, you need a much larger percent increase. Math does not dictate that you should think about price changes in terms of percents. That's a choice the author made. The author offers no explanation of why we ought to think of price changes in terms of percentage change rather than absolute price change in dollars. In addition, stock prices are not at all like rocks falling down a hill. The stock market as a whole, on average, moves up slowly over the long haul, which is exactly the opposite of the way rocks move. All right, so the first part, I don't know, I guess this guy just wants to sound smart or something, but he's commenting on all these things and, you know, the author says this and the author says that and you know why is he claiming this and he's claiming that and it'll get better as we get to the next part so he's just you know he's throwing all this stuff why why do i say that you have to look at things like that why do i say that you have to think look at things like this and then he goes on to say that you know stocks as a whole move up over time yes that's true on average the market moves up over time but i'm not talking about over time i'm talking about specific trades specific stocks so apples versus oranges so I mean, I gotta ask this guy, so I do. Have you ever traded a stock before? His reply, no, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, he's never traded a stock before, but it gets better, but it doesn't matter that I've never traded a stock before. I'm gonna comment on this guy who's talking about things from a trading perspective, but I, I've never traded a stock before. I, and it, it doesn't even matter that I haven't done that. This video does not suggest a particular strategy for trading. In order to speak on the truth of that, it would be necessary to give it a try and test it. The video actually claims to state a fact or trend about the way stocks move, but the video provides no evidence that stocks move the way you suggest. I don't know what to say at this point. I, I said there's no ill will, and I, I still don't have any ill will, but I don't know. It's, it's kind of grinding down my nerves now when I read through it. He's commenting on it. He's saying that I'm commenting on a stocks you know, on a way stocks move in a way that the stocks go down. And I, I, I don't under, yeah, over time, sure, the markets tend to head up, but talk to Enron, you know, did, did that one ever go back up? No, talk to, you know, some of these oil companies, have their stocks gone back up? No, so for him to say that I'm making, you know, statements of fact about how stocks move, I mean, it's not even rocket science, stocks move down. So cir full circle here, and this just got really confusing, but this is, why is this person commenting on a stock trading video when they admitted that they've never even traded a stock? They're sitting here making all sorts of assumptions 
and bad assumptions. I'm not talking about the market as a whole over time. I'm talking about stocks. So they're commenting on that and they're just getting the wrong impression and hopefully you can see why it's a mess. So what's the point of this? The point is this is why you need to be careful who you are listening to. You could be walking into a mess because you're listening to somebody that's looking at things from an Apple's perspective, which is causing them to make a bunch of false assumptions, ignorant assumptions, and you're trying to approach the same situation from the Apple's perspective. And that could discourage you, that could just make you think that you're failing, that could, that could do a lot of negative things to you. So just be very aware of who you're listening to. Where are you getting your information from? Are you getting things from a apples to apples perspective or are things getting all mi mixed up? Yeah, from the broad scheme of things, we could all be in the market. But in the market is so broad that there's apples to bananas to pears to grapes. There's all sorts of different things out there. So you got to be aware of what fruit you are. I guess in our case, you know, this is the orange channel. We are talking about trading. But if you're out there and you don't really know and you're jumping from video to video to video, that's why pe that's, you know, again, free education. Yeah, there's a ton of information out there. But that's why people get so confused because of instances like this, things get lost in translation because you're really starting to now view a situation from two different perspectives and making different assumptions and it just turns into a total mess. So yeah, William, I, he meant well, I think, but for him to you know, you know, cap it off with the whole, you're making facts about how stocks move and you're presenting it like it's a fact or trend. No, it, it, it's a fact, stocks move down. Now, the reason he's saying that, as we were explaining this, yeah, because overall, the market moves up, but I'm not talking about long-term investment, investing, I'm talking about trading. So, oh, and then the, the, the kicker here is, <laughs> have you ever traded a stock before? No, but it doesn't even matter that I've never, then why are you, now I'm starting to rant because it's just, be aware, okay? Get out there, be aware, make sure you're on the same page as the person. Make sure you're looking at apples with apples, oranges with oranges. Now for the Amazon gift card giveaway. Congratulations to Justin. You have won the $20 Amazon gift card. Contact us through YouTube, through the channel, and you have until next Wednesday to do that, and we will get you set up with your $20 Amazon gift card. We're gonna try this one more week. Last week, we only got 15 entries to the contest, which is kind of pathetic, and, but I'll give it one more time. I want at least 20, because uh, I'm not gonna just hand out money for the sake of it. If nobody's really interested, then, you know, that, that's fine, I'll keep making these videos, but I'm not gonna you know, run with the contest anymore. So if you wanna get in to the contest, three things you need to do, be a subscriber on the channel, click that like button, and then leave a comment. And if we can get up to at least 20 comments, then we'll continue this in the future. But one more try last week, eh, fail. But um, you know, I still enjoy doing these videos. People give me feedback that they're helping out. So I'll continue to do the videos, but whether or not the contest uh, proceeds, we'll have to sit back and see about that. So again, Congratulations, Justin. Contact me on the back end of the channel and you have till next Wednesday to do that. As always, comments, you can leave those below for suggestions for other mail videos or just kind of videos in general. Uh, if you're new to the channel, check out the other videos I offer and hopefully you ultimately decide to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.